Hey guys, I wanted to come back and just do a quick reading about what your light attributes are right now and then what you should just be cautious of for shadow attributes really quick. Right now it's, what is today? The 7th? February 7th, 2022. 2022. But whenever you find this, it's meant for you. I use these for myself too to try to help me keep myself in check. And I was like, oh, maybe the collective would appreciate that too. So let's see. What light attributes are the collective vibrating in right now? Whoa. <laughs> we got a lot. That's good. Prince. Romantic charm and potential for power. Okay, somebody's climbing that ladder. That's what's up. Virgin, maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Beautiful. Addict, light attribute is helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. So you guys are confronting your demons, which is a good thing. So that's really good when it comes out in the light attributes. You're not letting things take over you, you're managing. Companion, light attributes. Loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. Amazing. So maybe some of you are in relationships or just in general, you're a good companion, a good friend. Gambler, light attribute. Willingness to follow intuition, even when others doubt you. Excellent. Thief, but we're in the light attribute, so I'm thinking Robin Hood, right? You got sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Exactly. Yeah, oh, look at that. He's got like a heart in his <laughs> jacket. <laughs> so you're in the light attribute for thief. That's wonderful. Let's see if there are any more. Let's see if we can get two more. What light attributes are the collective in right now? Saboteur. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. So, it's, it's not bad, but saboteur coming out means that some of you are working through your fears, trying to take leaps of faith, but you're not sure. It's like you maybe are doubting yourself. But the good news is you're in the light attribute, not the dark, not the shadow attribute. So you're not doing anything that's self-destructive, but you may still be struggling with leaping. Taking that fool's journey. Yeah, let's see. Keep going. One more. Let's get one more. Priest. Hey, I like that. Light attribute. Facilitate spiritual commitments serves as a channel of spiritual energy. I already know I have priests and psychics, high priestess who watch my channel. I know there are tarot readers who watch my channel even though I have a low subscriber count. I know they watch. So um, I'm happy to have them here, of course, except for those nasty ones, but we won't even give them any attention. What's at the bottom here? Liberator. Freeing yourself and others from outmodel, outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns, right? Not even giving it any attention. So this is beautiful. Overall, what I'm getting for your Light Attributes Collective is that you are staying, you're doing your work to stay in your high vibration. You're being good to other people. You're facing your demons, working through problems that you recognize that you've had in the past and currently. Um, like actively, especially with this addict card, recognizing and confronting the behaviors that no longer serve you, not just calling it out in other people, but calling it out in yourself too. You're tuning in, you're listening to your intuition, you're following guidance that's beneficial to you. And yeah, connecting with God, connecting with spirit. I feel like that's really beautiful. And you're paying it forward with this liberator card here in whatever way that means to you, even if it's just like buying someone a cup of coffee, 
and not expecting anything in return, you know? Just doing things out of the kindness of your heart. So I love that. Yes. Now let's just quickly check out what we need to watch out for in the shadow attributes. to their own path when it comes to themselves. What does the collective need to be mindful of for shadow attributes? Poet turns a lyric gift into a negative or destructive effect. So mindful of your tongue, right? Words have power. So I guess just be mindful of what you're giving your attention to, what you're feeding with your words. something to look out for. Then we have Avenger, shadow attribute, resorting to violence in the name of a cause. So knowing, I just heard choose your battles. So there could be something where you may have to acquiesce, I also just heard. So it's like, and I'm hearing let it be. There's some kind of situation where you might need to just take the high road is what I'm feeling. Let's see, is there anything else for shadow attributes right now that my collector needs to be mindful of? You take the high road, <laughs> I'll take the high road, you take the low road, I'll catch the wolverine before you. Where does that from? I think it was like Animaniacs or Chinese Teen Adventures. Gossip, mm, gossip. Shadow attributes, thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. You know, gossip is one of those things you don't want to feed you don't want to feed it it's an ugly monster look at this it's like it almost looks like she's spinning venom into the this other person's ear it's just not good it's not a good look so if you're tempted to or if somebody brings you some gossip be mindful of that not to get too caught up in that this week don't participate in that I don't know why I said this week. That might be significant for somebody. We have mediator. Negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. So, I just heard sneaky link. I don't know what that's about. So that would probably be personally. So somebody could be coming towards you with some kind of, you know, shady acres kind of energy. Just be mindful. And be, be careful that you're not doing that to anyone else. Like, being sly when you can be honest. Then we have mother here, shadow attribute. Smothering or abandoning children. Instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. So you may be dealing with somebody like this, somebody who kind of clings on to you. It could be any kind of a mother figure who just doesn't want to let you go. Um, this could be male or female energy somebody who just is a little bit smothering or you could be giving that vibe off so just be mindful of that it's hard to hear these because you're like not wanting to think that you're in these but i feel like these are warnings for you things just to take note of dilettante sounds pretty shadow attribute Pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. So pump faking, pretending like you're an expert when you might be a novice. It's cool to be a novice. It's good to be a student. It's good to just be like, hey, sometimes I don't have all the answers or I don't know why this happened, but you know, let's roll with it. We don't always have to have the answers. I don't have the answers, Sway. If you do have the answers, beautiful, but don't push it. You know, be authentic. Authenticity is the theme I'm seeing here. Yeah, and I just saw Midas. 
at the bottom. So it's like, if you're so concerned with being, that's like an energy of perfectionism. So don't get caught in trying to be perfect for anybody. We have addict here, shadow attribute. And it came right over like mother, dilettante. So yeah, this could be like you maybe trying to, yeah, shadow attribute. Compromising integrity and honesty allows addictive patterns to have authority over your inner spirit. So this could be somebody who's obsessed with control. It came like right over the mother figure and dilettante. So it's like somebody who, you could be dealing with somebody who wants to be like at a high station in your life and who always thinks they know what's best for you. I'm hearing mother knows best, like mother Gothel. Um, from Tangled, it may not be that extreme, I hope. And if you're in that energy, just be, reel that in, you know, go ahead and reel that in. If you can, keep your energy balanced and remember to let other people make their own decisions. Um, everybody's an individual at the end of the day. You can give advice and they can take it or they can chuck it, but it's up to them. Don't attach yourself too much to that either way is what I'm feeling. And then let's see. And if somebody else is coming to you with that energy, then, you know, just kind of try to let it roll off, I suppose. Is there anything else for shadow attributes the collective should be aware of? Mystic, shadow attribute, delusional rapport with the divine. Interesting. Thief. Stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. So we got this in the positive attribute, but then here we got it with the shadow attribute. And I feel like this has to do with somebody This has to do with like some kind of phony. So be aware of a phony high priestess or a phony, even tarot reader it's giving. They're a thief. We're, I mean, I know I'm aware that there are some, I've already said it, I, um, but I'm not gonna focus my energy on that anymore because it's just draining uh, more than anything else. But yeah, there's somebody who's false. Some, just be mindful. Be discerning. Um, with this at the bottom, with Thief coming out, right after Mystic, like Thief at the bottom of the deck, this could be somebody who's just trying to get money. Or this is like last night, a big theme in the reading was somebody who stole. So this could be a, a spiritualist stealing from other tarot readers as well. So yeah, I said I have tarot readers who watch my channel. I feel like anyone who's watching my channel is kind of already aware that there's somebody who's been stealing content and they do it by uh, strange means and I'm not going to get into that right now. I could make another video about that, but it's pointless, right? At the end of the day, people are going to have to use their own discernment and um, just be careful about the energy that they're receiving when they're watching different readers on Taroland. I will say I got really, like, I really got pessimistic for a while because I started to watch the kind of toxic tarot land videos where there was people just always talking about really negative, like Jerry Springer type situations. And then there were things that were just really extremely dark um, that were being pulled from the cards, like very, very dark energy. And then I realized that some of those people are involved in some things that are not a, not okay in my eyes. And I don't wanna be um, too judgmental, but I had to migrate away from that side of Tarot Land and get back to people who are basically just minding their business and doing their light work. And that the vibrations are much higher. The people who are really just doing their work, but there's a false energy Um, even though you think I'd be too embarrassed to take it down, <laughs> I'm not. It's a part of my journey. And um, 
the videos that I've made when I first found out about this like really gross trickster energy that floats around in the tarot community, like I still have it up, but um, essentially there there's more than one person who operates that way. So that'll be up for you to just try your best to use your discernment. Things can really, really be illusory, I wanna say, like, Things can be a little bit flipped. You'll think somebody's like really, really, really dependable. And just because they might have a really high follower count, you'll assume that they're dependable or trustworthy. Um, and that's just not always true, unfortunately. And money makes people do some really ugly things. And this is the shadow attribute of thief, right? So it's somebody who's stealing, whether it be stealing intellectual property, stealing you know, I don't want to get too much into that because I don't want to feed that energy anymore whatsoever. But they steal that way and then they steal by having you pay them money um, for personal readings. And that's not everyone because there are people who really do honest work, honest light work, who offer personal readings as well. But there's dark and light in most any situation. And this is no different, so be mindful of that. This could be somebody who likes to give off a mothering energy. It could be somebody who likes to be like the mother hen or somebody who's in control of a lot of other people. Okay? Ooh, <laughs> gonna migrate on away from that energy. <laughs> Let's see if there are any tea leaves before I close this up. There any tea leaves that want to come out about this spread we got the most difficult part of a situation is over and wishbone a wish granted okay so maybe you're ridding yourself of this situation which is beautiful maybe you are starting to see the truth of this situation or you're starting to be mindful of it New job career was at the bottom of it, of the deck there. Then we got here, someone new was entering your life. Whoa. Tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. Four leaf clover, great, good fortune. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Lobster, financial pinch. Interesting. February, so this is like currently what it seems like. But it's temporary. Okay, yeah, so be mindful. It looks like you're just going to have to stay on your toes a bit about the people around you, maybe about the counsel you get. If you're getting a personal reading, I don't offer personal readings right now, but if you're getting any personal readings just be mindful who you're going to let's see if there's anything from this side leg it's a really muscular leg stepping into a new experience okay someone is leaving your life okay so someone might be leaving and you might be taking over a position then we have broken wishbone which will not be granted which is the opposite so it's like maybe for some of you your wish being granted is someone else's wish not being granted then we have parrot Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Ooh, you guys. You guys. Okay, yeah. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. So this is like fitting with someone you might see as like really positive influence or somebody you might casually know as someone who you believe is like in touch with the divine, um, or they could be somebody who touts church a lot, like 
Oh yes, so every Sunday I go down to the church and I volunteer my time and all that X, Y, Z. This person that's only on the surface and you don't wanna be telling this person your secrets. This has been coming up a lot actually. So be careful with that energy. And we have broom, new home, new attitude. So yeah, if you're going through some kind of a financial pinch, if you're dealing with something, be mindful of gossip. Be mind of even con be mindful of even confiding in people about it because you're going to be around some people who thrive on gossip. And 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 if you're getting any kind of a personal reading or something like that, be careful with that too. Um, just because there's. Like we said, there are people who are earnestly doing their work and there are people who are not. There are people who are thieves in more ways than one, okay? So just be careful with that, but we'll wash ourselves with that energy so we don't get stained by it, I wanna say. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. So there are really, really, really good light attributes. Watch that part again if you need to. You're doing what you need to be doing. Just be mindful of this kind of energy that Inevitably, where there is light, there's dark too. Okay? But this has been your light and dark attribute reading, and I'll see you back very soon. Bye.